Hey, in this video, we're going to do a brand new account in Webinai or Webinee.com. And I'm actually going to set up a little page here and show you how easy it is to drag and drop and build a serverless page without worrying about WordPress. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. And I'm going to take a look at this product I just learned about called Webinai, Webinee, I guess it is, W-E-B-I-N-Y dot com. And it's it's a, as they say here, serverless CMS, so content management system. And you know, we always talk about WordPress. We love WordPress. It's easy. It's flexible. Well, these days, there are starting to be other options than using WordPress. And from a speed perspective, also from a security perspective, there might be reasons you want to do it. Um, WordPress is starting to get a little bloated. They're starting to, um, you know, a lot of plugins that are having issues and security concerns and things like that. So I'm taking a look at some of these other options that have either both static um, layouts or just very easy, uh, nice, elegant CMS builders like like this one looks. And and this one in particular is beta. It's in the beta period, so you could use it for free. And it gives you a domain with HTTPS. And you can kind of see here, $19 a month. It's pretty pretty flexible. It's actually open source. That's where they host it. That's for their cloud. You could do some real tech smart ball stuff and just download it and host it yourself on your own stuff. But that we don't want to do that. So let's, let's actually get started and take a peek inside. And this will be a tough one because, you know, building a, a, a web page is always something difficult to do in a video where you actually haven't worked with the product whatsoever at all but i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna show you my experience as i go uh through it so let's go ahead and sign up here with my tech smart boss email address and password and let's see what they're onboarding in there oh well i'm not signing in i'm creating an account so that gets started i thought it would take me to the uh, account setup page but let's go ahead and see where uh, it takes me on this new setup. All right, and let's give it a password now and submit. All right, so it says I gotta confirm my account. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this while I go out and get that email, so stay tuned. Okay, so I copied that link. Let me go ahead and paste it as if I clicked on it, and there we go. All right, now it's taking me to the sign in. So let's do this again and put in the password submit and now i should be good to go so far it's looking pretty good so now the purpose of these is again without a wordpress infrastructure without having to go out and do custom designs this should give me a very flexible way to create you know entire websites as well as landing pages and and, and and they mentioned even custom applications so not a lot of onboarding you'll notice here it just took me straight into their platform so it's not giving me a bunch of tips uh, any assistance but there's a big old green button here that says click to create your first website so it's pretty obvious what I need to do so let's go ahead and do that and let's call it tech smart boss just for this particular one and it says every site comes with a complete admin interface so this is interesting so looks like you can have an admin of an admin I'm going to actually even edit my uh, domain and take out the dashes now this is not your custom domain this is going to be their this is call it their staging domain I'm assuming later we would be able to um, put our own custom domain in HTTPS as they talked about now notice this one has a little bit more security so let me go ahead and put in more of a password that is a little bit longer and let's create that all right so i'm making our first website that gives me a good indication that you can make more than one website in this um not sure how that affects from a cost perspective if that 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 cost i guess in the beta it may not matter all right so i've got my website here and I've got a site URL, I got my administration URL, and I've got my username. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and close that and, and, and see where I am now. All right, so I've got my site. Let's click on a site. And now, what can I do with this? I want to actually start to build this site. Let's go to settings. So this is where I can change that site URL. I can edit and add that custom domain name perhaps 
not quite sure there. Uh, let's see. How do I? Let's go. You know, I, I got a feeling I got to go to that admin link to start to do administration on this particular site. So let's click on this link and see where that takes me. So again, without the onboarding, I'm here. I'm I'm going from scratch and I'm figuring it out. But um, you know, I would say this is not going to be for the novice. Okay, so now I'm signing into that admin with that password that I set up for the admin site. So let me see if I can talk and put in the right password at the same time. And I didn't. I think I left out one digit of my password. I did. All right. So I'm in there. All right. So now we are clearly in the content management side of this website. So it looks like select a page. It looks like out of the box is giving me some default pages here, which is pretty cool. And I can press this green button here, it says, to make a new page. So all their pages have categories. They have two categories of pages here, as you can see, a blog category and a static page. Before I actually create a, a one from scratch, I'm going to click on some of these that they have that might be already sort of created. Yeah, so they've got, so now we've got a little bit of onboarding here where I can kind of see some getting started information and some developer information, some resources on how to uh, add to my page. This looks like a nice static example of a, of a home page. Let's see, let's just look through those, an error and a 404. So I'm gonna actually create a new page. Let's make a static page and let's consider this to be kind of like our home page. I'm gonna call this home page. Now, the way most of these builders work, and I think this one does as well, is you start by adding content, and they have a block system where out of the box they give you a bunch of templates, let's call them, for components of your website. And you can kind of, I'm in the all block section, you can see you can start with an empty block and just start free flow. That's a little bit more advanced. But if I go down through here, you'll see that they've got the way most websites sort of look. I'm going to go ahead and turn off and disable my pop-ups there. But you can kind of see they've got call to action blocks. Let's go ahead and look at feature blocks. And you can see how they got things laid out with features 1 through 6 or features 1 through 4 or background text, uh, content blocks, call to action blocks, all these. So this makes it really easy. So we're going to start with a header. And let's use... Well, let's just use their header one here. This is your basic type of header. So let's click to add that. And you'll see it adds that right into my web page. Then what I'm able to do is most likely add more content. Yeah, I can go back in and add more content. So let's say in addition to a header, we wanted to then add like a, maybe a little small call to action type of block. And let's do a thin call to action. Let's add this one in. Then maybe we want to add in a features block and let's add in I like this one here you can see how we're building our page and then probably we want to add in some sort of footer or let's look at what they have in the general blocks here just an empty block for general uh, let's take a look at their content blocks pretty straightforward stuff I mean they all look very nice I mean that's one thing I see about their blocks uh, let's look uh, at their header block one more time. So I'm not necessarily seeing, I, I could probably make one from an empty block, but I won't worry about the footer in this particular video here. I don't want to go too far here. Let's go ahead and close that. I've got enough to work with here. So now I, I've got the beginnings of a web page here. I don't know if I can preview. Yeah, let's click a preview. And you can see without making any changes whatsoever, this probably... You know, that's not bad. I've got, I can probably change that header there. I've got uh, a call to action, a little header, and some features. Oh, there's the footer. Looks like the footer and the header might be some default setting somewhere. So now all I have to do is go in and start to edit text. You'll see as I hover over things, I can edit stuff. So let me actually populate a different image in here. I'm going to put, I'm going to put my podcast image on there. And you'll notice that one of the things I saw on their website to give you some great image manipulation, I can apply filters. I can start to crop these things. 
I can do all sorts of settings. I'm going to go ahead and just save and add that. And you'll see that'll put that right there in that particular block for me. And I'll just say, welcome to Tech Smart Boss. Check check out our podcast on SoundCloud. So you'll see I'm just typing by just hovering and clicking and typing. Now you'll notice as I type, I can these things up here change. This is where I can start to add text. In this case on this learn more, I can add that hyperlink in here. And let's put in the SoundCloud link to our podcast podcast I can't even say podcast anymore. Into our podcast on this one. Let's make it a new tab. So pretty simple, right? I mean this is not hard stuff. You just click edit. Let's take a look at some of the button features here. Let's see what we can do. There's the alignment. So I can click that. There's a cloning of it. There's a hyperlink. There's a button section. So I could change that button style. Look at that green. So I'm sure there's settings where I can determine what these style sheets represent. Simple button. Let's make it a primary button again. I can even change that icon. So if it wasn't going to be a download that I was doing, maybe it was a uh, taking a look at uh, our blog that happened to be on Blogger or maybe it was um, let's find something else that's a little bit more well, let's just say we were going to download an app we could do that so there's lots of cool things here and the same thing here I can go in and click any of this text so you can kind of see the ease here and then let's see what else we could do I can add an element so now this element let's say I, I want to add something more into here maybe another block of text or something like that let's take a look add an element let's add in well I could actually add in possibly the the, the sound cloud itself so let's drag see what I could do with this so now I'm just kinda dragging that's pretty cool let's drag it and put it right there and I'm gonna add a actual podcast here and just see if it shows that let's put in episode 119 which I think was our most recent you'll see loading embedded data let's see what happens here I don't know if I blew it away or or what I'm gonna refresh I did see where it was loading that but something happened on this screen all right there it is loading embedded data so I might be running into an issue with this. Like I said, I'm doing this fresh on a first video, uh, first attempt type of method. Let me refresh over here and see if my changes are applied to that preview panel. Yeah, they are. Uh, but not that embed. So something happened with that embed that I probably had to go in there and figure out how to delete that. But you get the kind of intention behind these. Now let me... Here we go. Let's see... Yeah, it clearly doesn't like that. So I'm going to see if I can get back. All right, here we go. So this was the home page. Let's click in there and see if I can get back to that. This is where I can publish it, edit it, delete it, and do all those sorts of things. I'm going to go ahead and, and it looks like there's some versions I could do. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. See what happens when I publish it. All right. And now I can, I've got my V1 published. and I can now start to publish revisions. Let's go ahead and preview this published page now. And you'll see I've got that page published. Let's go back here, take a look, and now I can do a new draft. Or I should be able to edit this existing one. So there's, you know, it's gonna take some time to get used to this, but you can kinda of see the ease and the power by which you could do it. And the thing is, it's very inexpensive. You don't have to worry about server hosting and all those sorts of things. And again, for static content, this is going to be a little faster and it's going to be something that um, you don't have to worry as much about getting hacked. So let's take a look at what we have here. These are the page categories. So we saw that there was two categories of pages. I'm sure you could probably, yep, you can make another category if you want. You can make your own categories. Uh, okay, these were the menu items. So we talked about, we saw it was by default adding in some header information. Looks like you can create your own. So I had the home there. I could go ahead and add 
more menu header types very nice and then pages let's see what this is going to be these are the pages I, I just created so that's where I was security settings let's take a look under settings here let's look under the CMS and see what they've got that we can set so these are where I can set I can create pages I can create the custom 404 pages and error pages I can set that home page now to be the page that I created which was this one and I can set all my SEO type of things that's really nice now let's take a look at what else we've got here integrations so Google Tag Manager very nice you can still start to include all of your Google Tag Manager things we have a nice video on how to set that up and let's look at uh, the settings so my favorite con and my logo very nice and all my Facebook stuff so I think these were things that were popping up inside the footer so let's let's go ahead and put a Facebook page there for TechSmart Boss and save that and we'll go take a look at the actual setting so now without I haven't seen the uh, yet uh, I think I would have to go in and set my custom domain up but I think if I just copy because I published it if I just copy this link here open up this page it should be the page we've built there it is and then if I scroll down there's a little Facebook I added to the footer so pretty straightforward if I click here it should take me to that oh, I typed in text smart boss wrong on that link but you can get the idea there the only thing I had a problem with was embedding that actual SoundCloud so I have to go back and play with that some more but very I mean just with a little bit of work you can build some really nice pages here static and then we just have to figure out how to go in there and set up our own custom domain but I'm sure that's going to be pretty simple as well so I, I don't want to linger on this video but I, I hope you get an idea of what you can do outside of WordPress and with what they're offering here this is uh, free for beta doesn't look like it's going to be super expensive when they get out of beta and I think the, if you're looking for something a little bit easier looking looking for something that you don't have to do as much in WordPress this is a really easy way to start to build websites and landing pages uh, and is an option for the tech smart boss community so if you like these kind of videos subscribe to our YouTube channel we come out with a new one every week if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave those I respond personally and check out our Facebook page and also techsmartboss.com uh, for all the other things we're doing check out the next video I'll talk to you next time